All rise. Judge Vudder B. Court is now in session. Judge, this is case number JBB1034, Thornton case. Thank you. You're welcome. You all may be seated. Mr. Thornton? Yes, ma'am. You're back. How are you doing? Oh, not as well as I'd like to. Okay. All right. You brought this case before the court. What's going on? Uh, well, Your Honor, there's, there's been some significant changes in, in, in my situation. And uh, as you can see, Ms. Hernandez is, is not here today. And um, I have custody of the boy, and, and I have been, you know, making our arrangement payments to, to her. Okay. But since the boy has come to uh, stay with me, he's gotten himself into a lot of trouble. Okay. What kind of trouble? Um, <clears throat> well, he's, he's been um, burglarizing some residents, and uh, he was in an accident due to a police chase. This is AJ, right? Yes. Okay. And uh, Ms. Hernandez refuses to acknowledge uh, her responsibility to, to help me um, in, in covering some of these costs. I mean, the medical costs are, are quite extreme. Um, my insurance re is refusing to pay because it was a criminal act. In fact, they're going, probably going to drop me. Okay. And uh, If I remember correctly, you guys agreed to no child support during mediation. Yes, ma'am, we did. Okay. And since that time, nothing has really changed with the living arrangement. AJ still lives with you. Yes, ma'am. And you still have not been paying child support. You've been making the back child support payments. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Other than AJ getting in trouble, what else has happened? Like, what has changed? Well, she has moved out of state, quit her job, so her insurance no longer covers him Okay. in, in that aspect. And, um, you know, the uh, court costs, fines, and due to that accident, it, there was a lot of damage in which he's liable for, or I am, and um, it's it's almost um, impossible okay. for me to... Um, but AJ was double insured by both of you, right? Yes. Okay, here's the issue. In order to modify any type of child support situation, whether you receive child support or you don't receive child support, there has to be what's called a material and substantial change. That means that AJ's living arrangements would have had to have changed, um, something about his educational expenses have changed, something about mom's uh, income would have had to have changed, but in you guys' case, you agreed in mediation to no child support. So to go from no child support to receiving child support, you would have to fall in one of those categories for a material and substantial change. And based on what you said, you really don't fall into one of those. That's, that's very disappointing. Um, so she, she, she's just free of any obligation? I mean... Well, I wouldn't say she's necessarily free, but remember, you all did come to an agreement in mediation to no child support. So in order to start receiving child support, you would have to show that something has changed. So let's say, for instance, at the time of mediation, AJ still resided with her. Now he lives with you. Then we can entertain child support at that point. But nothing has really changed since you guys have gone to mediation. Therefore, you wouldn't be entitled to receive any child support, unfortunately. I understand. Uh, I, I mean, is there is, is there's nothing I can do? A absolutely. I'm, as I'm, far as I'm concerned, no, there's nothing you can do. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, <clears throat> thank you. Okay. Your is Honor. there anything further? Uh, no, ma'am. I not at this time. I'm, Okay. That's about it. Okay. Well, if there's nothing further, you're dismissed. Thank you. You're welcome. I just wanted to go over what you all witnessed in the Thornton case. Dad was appearing in court for the first time. 
He and mom settled at mediation for no child support. Well, now he wants mom to pay child support. Well, under Texas law, in order to modify child support, there has to be a material and substantial change. For example, there has to be a change in the child's mental needs, educational needs, a relocation of the parent, or an increase of income. None of those things took place in this particular case. Everything pretty much remained the same. Therefore, he was unable to get any child support from mom.